everybody, thank you for joining me again for another video. Today we discuss the magic of spinal flex. Spinal flex is one of the basic exercises of Kundalini Yoga. We often do this as a separate warming up exercise or as part of a Kriya. And today we discuss 10 reasons why you should include this in your daily practice. But first, hi, my name is Yogi Jasper. I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher, I'm a yoga coach and a trainer, I give workshops in breathing and Kundalini Yoga alignment and teach at the teacher training. So I like to make these videos to inspire you to do more Kundalini Yoga at home and to instruct you how to do it maybe better. So spinal flex, let's first have a look at what the perfect technique is for spinal flex. So we sit in easy pose. If you have difficulty sitting in, in easy pose, you can use a meditation pillow. Sometimes you also sit on, on the knees in rock pose, or you can even, of course, do it sitting on a chair. Um, once you do easy breathe in, bring the pelvis forward, breathe out backward like this. Make sure the head is not moving too much, like and it keeps your head pretty steady and your chest follows. Breathe in, breathe out. Pretty straightforward exercise, but sometimes surprisingly difficult if you haven't done it before. So what are the 10 advantages of doing this exercise regularly? For one, it improves your posture. So it gives you the mobility in the, in the spine to have a better posture. And a better posture means that your lower back is tilted a bit uh, forward. So you get a little bit what we call a lower doses. So your spine follows and your head is in nice alignment. If your spine is not tilted in little lower doses, you get this and your head pushes forward. This can cause many back problems or in between or even neck problems, headaches. This is a posture you see very often when people sit long in a car or behind a desk and um, being long time in this static posture is not good for you. That doesn't mean you have to sit in a perfect posture all the time. The spine loves to be in motion, it loves to change positions all the time, but this is in general the posture with, with least, the less stress on the joints and on the muscles. So it improves your posture and of course it improves the mobility of the joints of the lower back and um, brings the head in alignment. So if you do this exercise, first do it softly, gently. By doing this exercise you actually release tension in the muscles and release tension in the joints. So it releases back pain and helps you uh, feel relaxation. An interesting thing about uh, this movement is it actually helps you to breathe deeper and more relaxed because every time you breathe in, so you breathe in the belly, Right, the diaphragm goes down, you relax the belly forward. At that moment, the lower back has to move in a little bit in a flexion and a low dose. So every time you breathe, your lower back moves. Maybe you have noticed when you had some back pain uh, that it's more difficult to breathe deeply. That's because every time you breathe in your belly, your lower back has to move. And if your back hurts, it's not something you want to. So you often see people with back pain now or in the past that they actually change their breathing pattern. So it helps you regain function of a normal breathing pattern and actually makes it possible for you to breathe more deeply. So why do we do these postures? One of the main reasons actually is it makes it more easy for you to uh, come into a meditation posture afterwards. 
So the reason why we do the yoga and the stretches and all different postures, so it's more easy to sit in a good position to meditate. Because if your body doesn't feel good or it's constricted, it's very difficult to relax whilst meditating. So spinal flex help you to sit longer in meditation postures without um, pain or uh, other things. And that way you can focus on the meditation. What it also does, it makes you more conscious of your, what I call the foundation of your body. So it gets you out of your head into the foundation of your body. And at this part of the spine, we say that the Kundalini Yoga, uh, Kundalini energy has to flow up. So the reason why we want to move the spine, because it helps you with um, the Kundalini energy. If your spine is stiff, the Kundalini energy doesn't flow correctly. If it's mobile, if it's straight, the energy can flow more. You feel more energized. You feel more connected to your whole body and all your energy centers. So we talked about increased mobility of the joints, increased posture, uh, relaxation of the lower back, uh, in better breathing, uh, better sitting in meditative postures, releasing back pain, releasing neck pain, um, more consciousness of your foundation, better flow of the Kundalini energy. And that all through one very simple exercise. If you have something to add, please let me know in the comments below. And if you want more videos about these asanas, then please let me know as well. So I will uh, make more videos um, telling you my view about how you should do the postures and why they're important for you. For now, thank you for joining. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Satnam.